Agenda for the day is to receive SQS message, delete SQS queue and delete SQS message from the queue. Well, now we are in VL Studio uh, platform and uh, you can see uh, there's a class which calls the wrapper class meant for deleting SQS queue, meant for deleting uh, SQS message and uh, have to receive uh, SQS message has been shown over here. So now we have run the codes and we have received the queue URL. And from there, uh, we're gonna you know, uh, move towards next debug point, wherein you know uh, you have a method to subscribe the SQS message. Let's see how does it work. For that, let me brief you on this method over here. The method is called get Q URL async. So this is a method which is given by uh, AWS uh, SDK itself. So this is going to retrieve the queue URL and uh, it is going to take you know, uh, queue name as uh, input parameter. Now we are in the consumer class and for the interest of time, I'm going to you know, show you the glimpses of uh, various methods that I've created and explain you more about the logic and how the business logic works over here. So now, uh, this is the point where uh, you are you know calling the method called subscribe queues so this takes sql client which involves uh, you know your credentials and the queue url of where the message lies now when you go to this uh, subscribe method you have another method uh, which is being called and that is called get all messages so that is again a private method. Now, when you go inside this private method, here uh, we're gonna call another method, which has been provided by Amazon uh, you know, uh, SDK, and uh, that again, you know, uh, takes receive request object, and receive re uh, request object has properties called Q URL and message attribute names. So with that information, we're going to hit uh, a message. I mean, I'm sorry, uh, hit a method, uh, which is called receive message async. So this is an actual message, uh, actual you know, method provided by AWS SDK, which takes a uh, you know, request object as an input parameter and then retrieves the message from the SQS queue. So after invoking this method, you can see there is a for loop being introduced uh, beneath this method reason being that is you know you might have multiple messages in a queue and uh, if you have multiple messages we need to retrieve all among them we need to you know loop through the messages and retrieve all of them so for for that reason you know uh, there's a for loop being introduced now uh, once you you know uh, come out of that loop uh, we're gonna quickly check how many message uh, it has been you know, received. Uh, so you know we're gonna uh, take you back to the point where you know uh, uh, there is a request object, and then you know we're gonna hit that method receive message again, and uh, we're gonna see how many message has been received. Uh, there is one message which has been received. Uh, you can see the count as one, and then uh, from that point, you know uh, what it does is it's going to loop through the message uh, class uh, and then uh, there is a list which has been created called you know all message or something like that uh, so it, this is going to add all the message to that generic list so now you can see there is one message uh, being received and it is added to that list so uh, after that you know uh, we're going to check number of message if the count is zero I mean, uh, more, more than zero, uh, then uh, you loop through the list again and then delete that message. So I'll show you how we are going to delete that message. Uh, there is again, you know, a specific request object. It is called delete message request, which involves uh, properties like Q URL and, you know, uh, the receipt handle. Uh, and then we're going to hit uh, another method called delete message async this has been provided by AWS SDK so once you hit this message 
all the messages which are there in the queue would be deleted so now uh, when you you know uh, invoke that method you can see the me uh, messages have been deleted so it gives me you know uh, status code okay and the count is zero so uh, this is it guys you know it's pretty simple you know it is just you know using the available you know methods uh, from aws sdk and then relating that as per our requirement so now we have seen uh, two different activities being done one message being received and two message being deleted you can see the aws console where i i can you know show you where the message count is zero so uh, so that means message has been deleted